Local farmers and restaurants are feeling the boost from more people choosing to buy locally produced foods. Now, the goal has been to get consumers to switch from imported foods to local foods for one week. The challenge has gained so much attention, a popular food truck rally joined in the effort, too. KIT4's Amberlyn Hyden reports. Kano Hawaii's Eat Local Challenge started three years ago with just a few people making a personal commitment to buy and eat local. Grew to about 1,500 people last year, and we have about that many this year. Now more than 50 restaurants and markets are participating by creating special menu items and discounts for those looking for fresh island fare. Anecdotally, we've heard um, restaurants are selling out. Farmers have had their best weeks at the markets ever. Another milestone in the push for a more sustainable Hawaii is Eat the Street, a monthly food truck rally jumping on board. It's a great way to access uh, the public and let them know that it's possible to get more local um, products on your plate. So. This month's theme is Eat Local, where 39 trucks created a dish featuring local ingredients. Some items on the menu, kahuku corn and chorizo nachos, and a kuahivi beef brisket sautéed with waimanalo and Big Island mushrooms prepared by Seoul. From local wood to Kahalu grass-fed pork, Inferno Pizza served up guava smoked barbecue pork pizzas. Inferno's owner Jonathan Wong says events like these are a fun way to bring awareness toward the local economy. It's almost because there's challenges and because there's more focus on supporting local farmers, it just makes it better for everyone. Participants in the challenge and food truck owners said they buy a lot of their products direct at the markets and the cost is sometimes less than imported. But Kanu Hawaii officials say there's still more to do. So these are some first steps of people to really get on a personal level what Eat Local is about and then we'll definitely be following up um, with legislation next year. Amberlyn Hyden, KITV4 News. Kanu Hawaii officials say there's still work to do with land development and making sure land is allocated to farmers so they can keep providing locally produced products.